Yo, what is going on guys, I'm Sosa here and today, I will be talking about the Fall update and my predictions for it in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, I actually love Fall in Animal Crossing. The grass changes, the trees change, and you can even find mushrooms on the trees. It's actually quite cool. This is a very exciting update and I'm ready to share all my predictions about it. So the first thing that we have is gyroids are likely going to return. Now if you notice in the Dream Suite update, we did actually get a little hint at gyroids returning. They would be right next to you when you were sleeping. There's also been a leak that says 35 underscore gyroid item kind. Maybe that means that we're gonna get 35 gyroids? I don't know. Now obviously, no one really knows what that means except for there's a gyroid in the code and uh, a bunch of them will probably be implemented into the game. I mean, gyroids have been around for so long they couldn't just cut them off. It's, it's just not possible. And Nintendo just won't do that. Now of course, they're trying to be different from previous games, but gyroids are a really cool addition and they're probably gonna bring them back or they, they better bring it back soon. I'm gonna guess this fall. Now, speaking of this fall and gyroids, that brings us to another topic on this list, and that is Brewster. Now, if you guys don't know Brewster, I had a little coffee shop in Animal Crossing New Leaf, and his place was one of the most calming places in Animal Crossing New Leaf, apart from the Dream Suite, of course, but all I'm saying is that that place was a straight vibe. Now, Brewster being in the game, well, that's actually likely and unlikely, and here's why. So, it's likely because, well, you know, common sense, why wouldn't he be in New Horizons? Almost everyone is returning from New Leaf. So, I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't return, and people love Brewster so much. So by just saying that, you would think that Nintendo would bring him back. But there, there's only one issue. There's nothing in the code that talks about Brewster, or even connects to Brewster, except gyroids. Brewster himself has not been in the code, any kind of coffee shop has not been in the code, any, any kind of new store has not been in the code. I mean, literally nothing has been in the code relating to Brewster. So that is why this seems unlikely, but unlikely. So we'll just have to wait and see on this one, but I'm sure that Nintendo will pull through. The next week that we have to talk about is cooking. And I have a really, really good theory here that I will talk about in a second. Now, the only cooking that we've ever had really experienced in, in Animal Crossing is at the Harvest Festival at Franklin, also known as the Thanksgiving event. So we have, we have yet to find out how we're going to do it in New Horizons, but now what I think is going to happen is, well, if you think about it, if you were to cook something in New Horizons, it wouldn't really do much if you eat it. Just like how if, how if you drink the coffee in the New Leaf, it won't really give you a benefit. Nothing, nothing that you eat will give you a benefit except for the fruits. So cooking has been in the code for a while, so I think that Nintendo is waiting for the fall. My big theory is that in addition to Brewster's coffee shop, he'll, he will also provide a cooking service where you can cook up foods. And this would be such a cool feature, but that would kind of defeat the purpose of Franklin on the Harvest Festival day. But hey, maybe he will have you cook something extra special. I'm not sure. This theory sounded really cool in my head. I'm sure it would be really cool in the game as well. So Nintendo, if you're watching this, which they definitely are not, there's absolutely no chance they are. Add this feature, please. And also, there wasn't a specific code, name, or any kind of leak mentioned, but Ninja did say that there were a few new codes re related to cooking, but didn't mention them. There were already codes about cooking, but there were only a couple recent ones that were not mentioned. The next leak that we actually have is about vegetables. So this is a leak that we do not know too much about, but again, this is actually a prediction video, if you can tell by the title. So we're only supposed to be making predictions here. Now, there were a few codes I do mention cooking, and they say, VGT tomato, I'm guessing VGT meaning vegetable, vegetable wheat, vegetable sugarcane, vegetable potato, vegetable carrot, and vegetable squash. Okay, after reading that off, you would think that this game is turning into Minecraft here. Just kidding. But my only real question is, what is going to be the point of vegetables? Now, here's where we get into the predictions, the theories, and all that good stuff. So my prediction for vegetables is that they will be a little bit similar to turnips. So I think that Daisy May is going to come around and be selling a different vegetable every single Sunday. And the twist is that some will sell for different prices. So let's say the squash costs 200 bells each to buy, but the prices were a bit higher and they sell for more, so it's like you'd gain more out of it. It's like the same concept as turnips, just higher prices. And obviously, this sounds like a steal because it is. So I would assume that it'll be very rare that she comes around with squash because they're more higher priced and high tier. So she'll bring a different vegetable every single Sunday that was in value, and you'll just have to pray that she brings squash if that's like the, the, the top selling ingredient. Again, these are just predictions, so do, not take the, so do not take any of these seriously. I have no clue if they will be true. Hey, but let's hope so. Now this next leak really shocked me because I just saw it today. But that is sewing. Sewing, yes. S-E-W-I-N-G, sewing. Yes, sewing. Now I'm not sure. Who at Nintendo thought that this would be a good, good idea to add in, in the game? But hey, 
I'm not complaining, because in my opinion, Nintendo has not put in a bad update into the game yet. Okay, I'm not sure what this is going to be about, but I do have a prediction. It will have the same concept as a DIY recipe. You will be able to earn sewing recipes. The way to sew is to gather the materials, and I'll take a guess and say that you can buy a needle and yarn, the co and the color yarn will be the color of your sewing creation. Uh, let's say if you sewed the mom's plushie with red yarn, it would be a red mom's plushie, which I can't even, cannot even imagine what that would look like. And you can also combine yarn and use multiple colors to sew something together. And, and you can buy different color yarn, and different uh, types of yarn, like plaid yarn, all that kind of stuff from the Able Sisters. And I'm probably wrong about that one, but I think sewing would be a really great addition to the game, along with cooking, vegetables, and all that. Now, just similar to cooking, there's not a mentioned code name for the sewing, but there are references to it that, are, that have not been mentioned. Now, for the main part of the fall update is the Halloween event. Now, some type of Halloween event is confirmed to take place on, on October 31st, obviously. It will be probably be very similar to New Leaf, Leaf, considering Bunny Day was almost a copy and paste from New Leaf. On Halloween, in Animal Crossing New Leaf, you were able to barge into animals' houses and scare them to the point where they give you candy. Uh, it's actually a lot more peaceful than that. Now, the mastermind behind this whole thing is none other than Jack himself. So yeah, there aren't there isn't really too much to say because this event will be just like New Leaf, but I am most excited for the Halloween event. Now, some of you guys might wonder, what does cooking, sewing, and vegetables have to do with fall? And my answer to that is, I have no clue. But Ninji did state that they were going to be in the next update. Out of those three, the only thing that I can see that makes sense in the fall is the cooking because of Franklin and Thanksgiving Harvest Festival. Now, if you guys don't know who Ninji is, he does data mining for Animal Crossing New Horizons, and all of his leaks have been correct so far, with Leaf to, you know, the summer updates and all that good stuff. But yeah, these are likely going to happen soon. Anyways, that, that wraps up my fall predictions. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like the video, comment what your favorite leak is and what you're most excited for, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.